Welcome to Vision Academy. Today's current affairs English date 26th October 2019. Let us begin with national news updates. Uttar Pradesh government launched its flagship scheme, Kenya Sumangala Yojana. The scheme will provide an amount of fifteen thousand rupees in a phased manner to every family in which a girl child takes birth. The scheme has been designed in a way that parents have to take care of the girl child's health and education to get the benefit. Please to remember, Uttar Pradesh government have recently launched a new scheme for girl child named Kenya Sumangala Yojana. With this scheme, the girl child will get the amount of fifteen thousand rupees in a phased manner. Related this. Uttar Pradesh CM Yogi Adityanath, Uttar Pradesh capital, Lucknow. Next news: A delegation of group of intellectuals and academicians presented a report from Ground Zero on Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh after setting aside of Article 370 and 35G to Dr. Jitendra Singh, Minister of State in PMO. Keys to remember. Report from Ground Zero is presented by a delegation group of intellectuals and academicians on Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh by setting aside the Article 370 and 35A. Related case: Jammu and Kashmir Governor Satyapal Malik, Jammu and Kashmir Capital, Jammu, Winter, Srinagar, Summer. Next, let us see international news updates. A memorandum of understanding has been drafted by India, Nepal, and Bhutan to create a transboundary wildlife conservation park. The park will include biodiversity-rich landscapes. The initiative was started by India, keeping in the view of migratory wildlife species in the region, especially elephants. Keys to remember: the MOU have been. Signed between India, Nepal, and Bhutan to create a transboundary wildlife conservation park. Related case: Bhutan capital Thimbu, Bhutan currency, Bhutanese ingal trang, Indian rupee. Next, let us see appointments. The appointments committee of cabinet, headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, appointed. Sukhbir Singh Sandhu as the chairman of National Highway Authority of India. Sandhu is a 1988 batch IAS officer from the Uttarakhand cadre. Case to remember: Sukhbir Singh Sandhu is appointed as National Highway Authority of India by Appointments Committee of Cabinet. Next, let us see books. Economist and author Bibek Debroy have come out with English translation of two Hindu mythological texts, Markandeya Purana and the Bhagavad Gita. Publishers Penguin announced the book is a special bilingual edition of foundational texts on Dharma and the Hindu philosophy. Keys to remember. The economist and author Bibik Debroy have translated two mythological texts named Margandeya Purana and the Bhagavad Gita. Next, let us see important days. Disarmament Week is an annual event that is observed from 24th October to 30th October in various part of the world. The observance revolves around the raising public awareness of dangers of the arms race and the need for international disarmaments. An important focus of this week is trying to convince nation to only keep the weapon they need for an adequate police force. Keys to remember: Disarmament Week is observed from 24th October to 30th October in. Various part of the world. Next, let us see words of the day: deleterious, causing harm or damage. Similar words: injurious, dangerous. Antonyms: beneficial, advantageous. Second word: demeanor, the way a person behaves towards other people. Similar words: manner, attitude. 
Antonyms Impropriety Improperness To have a daily current affairs updates, subscribe to Vision Academy. And don't forget to press the bell button below. And if you think the video is informative, like this video, share this video, comment below for the doubts.